Hello, boys and girls of Zelk. My name is Ryan Southall. I'm the daddy of Bo Southall in Miss Medier's class. And the way I help our community is I serve in the United States Navy Reserves. <laughs> So today I'm wearing my special uniform. This is our US Navy camouflage uniform that we would uh, typically wear whenever we're working in a shipyard or on a US Navy ship at sea or in a port. Uh, we wear this to keep ourselves clean if we have to get dirty and work in certain spaces. Uh, it also helps us all look the same um, to be uniform in the military. So I'm gonna take my hat off. This is our hat we wear when we wear this uniform when we go outside. Sometimes you might see sailors wear an all white uniform or a black uniform. And we wear this hat sometimes too, uh, when we're on the ships. Uh, this is a very uh, common older sailor hat that we wear a lot of times, especially if we're at sea. So just like my uniform has different hats, I actually have different hats that I wear all the time. So I do serve in the Navy, but on most days, I'm actually serving as either a teacher or a school assistant principal. So I actually do two different types of jobs. I work at a school, actually for elementary school, just like your school, as well as I also go to the US Navy once in a while uh, when I have to leave my family once a month or a few times out the, a few weeks out the year, every year or two, to go work on ships or in a shipyard. I have to travel many miles across the country. I've gone to places like uh, the state of Maine, I've gone to the state of Washington, I've gone to California, to San Diego, I've gone to Virginia, and all other parts of the country to work. But mostly I go to New Orleans once a month to go uh, work in the U.S. Navy for a couple days every month uh, in my job. So you may wonder, how does a sailor help our community? I don't help our community every day like a police officer would or like a firefighter would or somebody like that or somebody who works for EMS or ambulance. My job involves me going every once in a while to help protect our country as a whole, not just Zachary, but also our state of Louisiana and our country by either working in the shipyards to make sh sure that our US Navy ships are ready to go to sea or actually on a ship to help patrol our waters and help patrol uh, the coastline of the United States and help to go all over the world to make sure that um, America is, and people who live in America, like you and me and my family, are all protected. So one of the ways that I help protect our community directly is that two years ago when we had the beginning of the COVID pandemic, when we had the, the, the time where everybody was wearing masks, I was what's called deployed. If you're a reservist or if you're in the military, uh, sometimes you might be deployed to help work in the military all the time, and you had to leave your family. And I had to do that myself two years ago. I had to go from Louisiana to the state of Washington to work uh, at a port in where a place called Bremerton, uh, Washington, near Seattle. And I had to work in a shipyard there for about nine months, uh, working on submarines, working on aircraft carriers and other types of parts of the ship. And I had to leave my family. So uh, Bo and her brothers, and her sister has stayed back here in Louisiana with her mom while I was gone uh, for all that time uh, working and living there in Washington. So where I was living was very far away. It's about 2,700 miles away. It would take you about five days to drive where I was living at that time uh, if you wanted to come visit me. But I was gone all that time. I didn't really get to see my family that much while I was gone. We got to talk on the phone a lot. Um, but while I was doing that, I was helping make sure the ships were ready to go. I was helping to do a lot of work there to help other sailors and other people who work in the shipyard, uh, making sure those ships are ready to go out in the waters, help protect our country. And it's something that I enjoy doing. I miss my family, of course, but it was something I feel like it was you know, patriotic to do to help serve our country, uh, to sacrifice that time away from Louisiana and my, my children and my wife to go over there and help make sure that the ships and the crews there could still function like normal and we could make sure our Navy was in good shape. So if you ever see anybody who works in the military, just know that a lot of times they have to make sacrifices, which means they have to sometimes do things they don't wanna do 
to help out our country, the United States of America. A lot of times that means they may have to go far away from their family for many months. They may have to live away from their family for many months. They may even have to go overseas. They may have to go to Asia or Africa or the Middle East or all over the world where they have to go away for some time and miss their you know families and miss their children for several months or even over a year before they can come back. And that's a big sacrifice they make for their for their families. It could be a mommy, it could be a daddy who does this, it could be maybe your aunt or uncle, it could be a grandparent, anybody you know, anybody in your family who, who might be older might have done this before and they have to make a sacrifice and miss a lot of time. That might mean they miss birthday parties, miss Christmas, miss Thanksgiving. Whenever I left to go, I miss Thanksgiving. I miss some of my kids' birthday parties because I had to be in Washington. So that's just part of being in the military. But even though it was a sacrifice, I I felt like it was good and necessary because it helped our country and it helped our U.S. military stay uh, in great shape. So thank you again, boys and girls of Zelk. I really appreciate you watching my video and taking some time to learn about the U.S. Navy and the military and what we do to help the community. I'm proud to serve our country and I'm proud to help protect my family and uh, our families here. Uh, in the state of Louisiana and of course the rest of the, uh, around, the, around the globe. A lot of people in the military are very proud to do the same thing. Um, so thank you for listening to me and I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you.